Okay, I'd like to talk about how Ready, Set, Do can interact with Omni Outliner Professional to help you categorize things in a particular way. There comes a time when you're processing something out of your inbox and you actually have a more specific sequence by which you need to categorize that item. So it's not just that you need to figure out whether it's actionable or non-actionable, whether it's something that goes into reference or in your project support material, but you actually have a specific process that you want to use to categorize that item. So let's say it's a book that you want to categorize. You want the title, the author, uh, the ISBN number, the link to Amazon.com or whatever. Um, or maybe you've got uh, quotes that you want to collect and you want to, you want the quote, you want the page number it was found on, the source that it was found in. Whatever it happens to be, there may be a specific way that you would like to capture that information and give it a more unique process than what Ready, Set, Do affords on the Get Inbox Empty script. So I'm going to show you how this works with Omni Outliner. Um, I currently have a uh, master quotes database that comes with Ready, Set, Do so you can see how this works. And you'll notice I've got author, the quote, the type of quote, the source, the time period. This might be a little excessive for most people, but this will give you an idea of how it works. When you are processing your inbox, you can use Get Inbox to Empty, and we'll bring up this item that is a quote. Now let's get your inbox to empty. And we've got this quote of to whom much has been given, much is required. And the way this works is in order to have it queue up your Omni Outliner document, you need to use the prefix, the exclamation mark, and then whatever the uh, the uh, prefix is that you want to use. So in the, in our case, this is exclamation mark quote and then dash. So all we have to do is prefix exclamation mark quote dash to this quote, and it will bring up that on the outline or document for us to process with. And there it is. So the first thing we need to decide is who the author is here. Uh, I don't remember. And Ready, Set, Do conveniently captures the quote to the clipboard for you, so you can just paste it here and click OK. You'll notice it pops in at the bottom. Uh, what kind of quote is it? We'll just say it's uh, proverbial wisdom. Somewhere. And you get the idea of how it works. We'll just go ahead and skip these. And it's just, it's a very nice way. Your inbox is now empty. It is a very nice way to just capture in a nice, uh, you know, almost spreadsheet like format in your Omni Outliner document information that you would like to gather on something. And you can do this for anything. You can make your own Omni Outliner document. Let's say you want to do something like, um, you know, book title. We'll add another column, author. We'll just make this a read column on whether you read the book or not. And then we'll click the inspector here. And we will make this column a checkbox. OK. And this gets pretty easy. We'll just go ahead and save this as book my book list. And we'll save it in our checklist folder. And now let's pretend we've got a book that we want to process. We'll do something like The Dark Night of the Soul. And we'll go ahead and do Get Inboxed Empty. Now let's get your inbox to empty. And this is a book we want to process, so we're just going to go ahead and prefix it with book. We'll click return. It's going to queue up that on the outliner document we just made. And we'll just go ahead and say, here's we know the book title is The Dark Knight of the Soul. Click OK. And the author is St. John of the Cross. And have we read it? Okay, we have. We'll click yes. Your inbox is now empty. 
and you'll notice that's basically how it works. Now you can also customize and change things in Omni Outliner. So instead of just having this be a text file, you can change this column to a list. So we can change this to a pop-up list. We've got St. John and the Cross, and then new ones will get added. So we'll save this. And if we run the, we'll, we'll just add another book here to see how this works. We'll do Bone Adventures. Soul's Journey to God. And we'll go ahead and run Get Inbox to Empty. Now let's get your inbox to empty. And we just prefix this with our book prefix to queue up our Alming Outliner document with that in turn. We'll queue up that document and now the book title is The Soul's Journey to God. The author, we've got a new author to add now, so I'll show you how this adds it to the pop-up list. We'll just click OK and we'll add St. Bonaventure. And have we read it? Yes, we have. And we'll just go ahead and get rid of it because we captured what we needed to. So you'll notice now that uh, we've got two items here, we created this into a pop-up list. So you'll notice when you come over here, you can actually select which author you want. It automatically added it to that pop-up list. You can see that um, here. So regardless of how you choose to make your Omni Outliner document uh, columns work, Ready, Set, Do should, should interact with it and make it easy to, uh, to work with. So there may be lots of things that you want to have. You have specific sequence or uh, things you need to capture, categories you need to capture about a particular item. And this is just one of the things Ready, Set, Do does that most people don't know about. It'll interact with Omni Outliner Professional in this way. You need to have Omni Outliner Professional because it interacts with AppleScript. If you just have the basic version, it's not going to work. But uh, another thing you may want to know is if you're using the uh, next action shortcuts, you can also just type the exclamation mark and the prefix to queue up your Omni Outliner document if you're in the midst of using Ready, Set, Do for Get Actionables Done or Get, get Clear on Projects, that kind of thing. And the last thing I'd like to do here is just show you that within your checklist folder, this is typically where I like to keep them, but if you open your checklist folder, uh, Ready, Set, Do comes pre-installed with uh, sample Omni Outliner docs documents that you can try out. So there's uh, an asset list, uh, looking for a job, you can type in a bunch of things here. Uh, you may have a purchase list of things you want to buy with different categories. You can delete these or customize these however you want, a quotes database as you've seen already. So go ahead and play with those and see if they're useful to you and then feel free to make up some of your own.